Hello everybody, welcome to this massive open online course on solid fluid operations. As we are talking about the filtration process, in the previous lecture we have given some fundamental or basic principles of filtration, what are the different types of filtration process, what are the you know basic components of the filtration process and uh, based on that you know material characteristics and also pore size what are the different types of membranes are available for the filtration and what are the different configuration of the filtration that we have discussed. Also, we have uh, discussed about the governing equation of the filtration that uh, operation based on that uh, driving force of pressure. So, here in this lecture again we will try to understand the uh, dead end and continuous filtration process where you will see that some special type of equipments are being used to uh, segregate or separate the particulate materials from the slurry. Especially uh, you will see that those who are you know muddy water especially for the wastewater treatment or in simple water treatment process in the basic operation uh, in the beginning of that separation of the particulate materials from the water. So, they are uh, actually this filtration process is uh, important. And for that a special type of equipment that I uh, told it is generally as a name it is called plate and frame filter press. And uh, this equipment has been used continuous operation in the uh, you know industry as well as for the testing of that you know filtration efficiency in laboratory scale also uh, in different uh, you know institute they are using in chemical engineering department as a laboratory component. So, here uh, we will try to understand that uh, you know filtration process by membrane where a special things is that uh, based on that driving force or pressure drop how that you know filtration can be obtained. So, before going to that as we have already uh, talked about that operational modes of filtration by membrane are generally two operational modes for that membranes can be used. These are like dead end filtration here in this case the membrane permeate passes through it. Uh, all the particles are retained in the membrane whereas uh, another type of mode it is called that cross flow filtration where the feed flows tangentially to the membrane and permeate passes through only a fraction is converted through membrane and uh, also you know it will be coming to that permeate product. So, in this case uh, we are having these two operational mode you will see that uh, plate and frame filter face is one uh, type uh, special design of that equipment for that separation process uh, based on this dead end operational mode. So, in this case you will see that uh, in the picture in the slide it is shown that here that uh, plate and frame filter face you will see that uh, here uh, already we have discussed that uh, this type of plate and frame filter fish there will be some plate and there will be a frame and in the frame with that plate supported uh, there will be a you know cloth attached with that and cloth will be used as a membrane and whenever the subsequent such uh, plate and frame with cloth will be you know attached and pressed by that you know certain pressure you will see that solid particles will be retained on that cloth surfaces uh, whereas uh, through the pores of that cloth that means membrane the water or that means uh, the except solid particles will be you know coming out and it will be separated. So, this is the basic mechanism of that plate and frame filter pressure. Uh, by which you can separate that solid particles. Whereas, uh, whenever that uh, under pressure that solid particles will be retained on that you know cloth there will be a formation of cake by depositing that you know solid particles. So, there that, ca uh, that cake itself will be working as a you know porous media where that some other solid particles of that you know fine particles can be retained on that cake and continuously depositing that particles on that cake cake and then uh, you know thickness of that cake will be increased and also resistance of that you know membrane will be keep on increasing there. So, in this way you can get uh, that separation of the particulate material from the slurry just by compressing that plate and frame along with that filter cloth there. So, here it is seen that uh, one plate and frame uh, filter press where see you will see that subsequent you know uh, n number of or series of that you know. Uh, plate and frame with that cloth attachment is procured uh, in this you know uh, equipment and uh, separately you can see also these are uh, plate and here also some frame uh, it will be there 
and in that frame there will be you know cloth will be attached there like this here so it is the cloth that will be as a membrane it will be attached. So, what is the basic function of that here under this pressure you will see that this you know plate and frame with cloth it will be you know coming to each other and there will be a press and based on which you will see that the feed materials whenever it will be passed to that only solid materials will be retained on that cloth whereas that uh, clean uh, you know except the solid particles will be coming out through this and that is shown in yellow color whereas the feed mat feed slurry is, is shown in the green color like this. So, here uh, you will see that uh, this separation how it is being happened here and this blue portion is basically the filter gate. So, in this way you can separate this solid particles from the slurry. So, we can say that the slurry separated into its base liquid and the materials which will be under pressure it will be separated and then it will be dried and then uh, assess for that how much solid materials it is actually uh, uh, filtered there. Once the slurry is fully loaded in the chamber you will see that a hydraulic pump applies to compress that plates which expels the excess fluid and forms a dry cake on the plate ok that dry cake, dry cake will be you know discarded after that operation. As the cake builds up on the plate surface the fine particulates are removed from the process fluid there ok. So, in this way this plate and frame filter press works. Now, to assess this uh, plate and frame filter press for separation of that particulate material from the slurry, you have to have some governing equation or what will be the general membrane equation by which you can assess that you know filter process. So, the general membrane equation for determining that uh, you know permeation rate for the pressure driven processes can be written by this equation number 1 here, where J will be equal to delta P divided by mu into Rm plus Rc. Here J is called you know membrane flux that is expressed as volumetric flow rate per unit uh, area and delta P is basically the pressure difference applied across the membrane and uh, this pressure difference is basically the contribution of that you know uh, filter cake as well as that you know filter medium pressure. So, th these two components of that pressure will be contributing this total pressure of delta P that already we have discussed in the previous lecture and then Rm is the resistance of the membrane and rc is the resistance of the deposited uh, you know particles layer which is called as a cake so we can say that resistance of the cake here okay and it is called cake resistance and mu is the viscosity of the liquid and the one important point that you have to remember here that for microfiltration and ultrafiltration membranes where feed flows laminarly through tortuous channels through deposited cake. So, through that deposited cake you will see that the fluid will be flowing as like a you know that channel flow like that because uh, you know there will be a tortuous path as a channel through that you know cake uh, that means here void you can say that channel void you can say. So, through that you know channels that liquid will be flowing as a laminar flow. So, the overall pressure drop at any time that will be contributed by the pressure drop over medium and cake. So, that is why you can write here delta P will be equal to P A minus P B here total pressure which is coming as P A minus P dash what is P A here it is shown in the picture that P A is here this uh, one side of this membrane and another side of this membrane as P B. So, here P A minus P B that will be your total pressure and this P A minus P B can be contributed as P A minus P dash P, a, P dash is basically that interface between that you know cake and the medium. So, that P dash, so we if we subtract that P A minus P dash that will give you that delta P C that is uh, you know cake pressure drop or pressure drop due to the cake deposition. And then P dash minus P B is basically that delta P M this is uh, pressure drop that is contributed by the filter medium ok that is by membrane. So, here it is shown in the picture how it is working there. So, uh, in this case uh, we can uh, have this P A is the inlet pressure P B is the you know outlet pressure P dash is the pressure at the boundary between cake and medium and also delta P is the overall pressure drop delta P is the pressure drop over cake delta P m is the pressure drop over medium. Here in this picture it is shown that uh, there will be certain uh, distance d l of that cake uh, you know uh, based on which you can assess what will be the you know pressure drop upon this uh, d l distance and total distance of the cake is given even total distance of this you know total filter and cake it is given by you know L c and L respectively ok. 
and uh, here uh, uh, you will see that uh, what is the filtrate is coming at what rate that filtrate will be coming that will be considered as a Q as a flux also. Now in the filtration flow resistance increases with time as the filter medium becomes clogged or that filter cake will be builds up. So, whenever filter cakes will be built up with respect to time there also you can say that resistance will be increased. So, as time passes during filtration either the flow rate diminishes or the pressure drop rises. So, in that case whenever cake will be deposited with respect to time their pressure also keep on increasing with respect to time. So, in this case we can have two types of things either uh, increasing the flow rate with respect to time or increasing the pressure drop with respect to time or uh, you can operate at a constant flow rate or you can operate this uh, you know filtration process at constant pressure. So, there are two types of filtration can be done by this you know plate and frame filter press. One is called constant pressure filtration where pressure will remain constant uh, whereas flow rate allowed to fall with respect to time and constant rate filtration that is the flow rate will remain constant whereas pressure drop progressively uh, uh, increased with respect to time. So, these are the two you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you can say way that you can operate or you can uh, you know pro, uh, you can you can execute this filtration process here by this plate and frame filter press. Now, whenever that cake will be deposited or particles will be deposited and forming a layer of cake they are uh, that cake uh, you know pressure how you can calculate as already we have discussed earlier in the lecture that uh, uh, pressure drop over cake by uh, uh, cosine Kerman equation you can predict or you can calculate. So, that is given here in equation number 3. So, dpc by dl that will be equal to 4.17 mu u into 1 minus epsilon whole square into sp by vp whole square divided by epsilon cube or you can calculate by this equation number 4 here dpc by dl that will be 150 mu u into 1 minus epsilon whole square divided by phi s dp square into epsilon cube where dpc by dl is basically the pressure gradient over cake at thickness l and mu is the viscosity of the filtrate and u is the linear velocity of filtrate based on that filter area. This is linear velocity or you can say that superficial velocity and sp is the surface of single particle and vp is the volume of single particle and epsilon is the porosity of the cake and phi s is the sphericity of the particles. So, based on this equation number either 3 or 4 you will be able to calculate what will be the pressure drop over cake by this cosine Kerman equation. Then uh, you have to calculate what will be the linear velocity u which is given by this equation here 5. This is basically what is that dv by dt that will be equal to u into a from which you can calculate u will be equal to dv by dt by a where v is called volume of filtrate which is collected at the time t and volume of solids in the layer which is deposited that will be equal to dv that will be equal to a into dl into 1 minus epsilon. What is epsilon? Epsilon is basically the void fraction. That means how much liquid or uh, you know you know void uh, except uh, you know solid uh, out of total volume it is called void fraction. And the mass that is dm in the layer which is deposited that will be actually that can be calculated by equation number 7 where dm will be equal to a into dl this is the total you know uh, volume in that particular uh, strip of length and 1 minus epsilon that will be you know that volume fraction of solid. So, it will be your you know volume of that solid into density of the solid then it will give you the mass of the solid. So, mass of the solid in the layer that will be equal to A dl into 1 minus epsilon into rho p. Therefore, from that equation number 3 of that cosine Kerman equation you will be able to calculate what will be the pressure drop after substitution of all those you know values of u, dv and dm uh, like this. So, after uh, you know substitution of that value of u, dv and uh, dm from equation number 5 to 7 into equation number 3 that is earlier equation, equation number 3 is basically here it is a cosine Kerman equation. So, in this equation if you substitute this u, dm there then you will be able to calculate what will be the dpc by equation number 8. Then if uh, suppose mc is the total mass of solids in the cake from equation number 10 here equation number uh, uh, 10 here after integration 
we can have like this you know if mc is the total mass of solids in the kit then from equation number 10 after integration of this equation number 9 we can have this delta pc by a by mu u mc that will be equal to k1 sp by vp whole square into 1 minus epsilon by rho p epsilon cube okay where uh, you will see that k1 is basically a constant value uh, from this equation number 3 from kozeny karman equation and here also you will see that once you get this equation number 10 from this equation number 9 then we can define here delta pc by a divided by uh, divided by mu u into mc as denoted by alpha uh, this will be called as you know the specific cake resistance this is a basically the pressure drop ratio that pressure force by the viscous force and then it will be con considered as you know delta pc by a delta pc a divided by mu u mc so we can substitute this uh, value of this uh, component in the left hand side of this equation 10 as alpha so we can write that alpha will be equal to k1 sb by vp whole square into 1 minus epsilon by rho p epsilon q by equation number 10 uh, 13 also you can substitute this sp by vp that will be equal to 6 by 5 sdp whole square which is obtained just after substitution of that single particle surface area by volume of single particle into whole square then it will be equal to what is that of uh, this so after substitution of this you can get what will be the alpha value what is this alpha alpha is basically the specific cake resistance that means here whenever uh, pressure will be developed by depositing the solid particles as a layer you will see that the, the pressure drop over that you know viscous effect and inertia effect of mass deposition that means what extent of that pressure effect will be there on the uh, membrane process that will be regarded as the specific cake resistance what will be the resistance it will come by this cake pressure drop per unit mass of that you know cake so that is called specific cake resistance okay so here uh, uh, one important point that whatever cake will be depositing you know on the you know uh, membrane surfaces uh, particles deposition uh, that uh, cake will be you know uh, re represented as an incompressible that means that cake will not be compressed further so uh, in that case it will be regarded as an incompressible cake that means here uh, the volume of that cake will not be changing with respect to you know that uh, you can say that mass of the cake will not be uh, changing with respect to time or with respect to you know that length also there uh, uh, after a certain time so in that case for incompressible cake you know specific cake resistance is independent of pressure drop and position in the cake there so that is why it is called as a uh, you know incompressible cake and filter medium resistance uh, they are also another important you know component here that is uh, regarded as or uh, defined as a rm uh, which is actually expressed by that p dash minus pb divided by mu u that means delta p uh, m by mu u uh, here so as defined already that what is that delta pm that means pressure contributed by the you know membrane uh, medium so that is delta pm which is coming as p dash minus pb as shown in the picture here and uh, then delta pm by mu u we can define it as a you know uh, medium resistance so from equation number now 12 and 14 after substitution of that delta pc that means cake resistance uh, pressure drop and uh, uh, you can say that cake pressure drop so and also that uh, pressure drop of uh, that uh, filter medium from equation number 14 then we can express that equation number here total pressure like here this is the total uh, pressure this uh, equation number 2 we can then represent uh, after substitution of that delta pc delta pm uh, then we can get uh, delta p will be equal to delta pc plus delta pm that will be the mu u into mc alpha by a plus rm where alpha is already defined earlier that is specific cake resistance and the total mass of the cake can then be defined by mc will be equal to v into c so here c will be equal to mass of particle that is deposited in the filter per unit volume of filtrate so in this way that c will be defined so mc will be equal to what mass of cake that will be v into c what is c c is the mass of particle deposited in the filter per unit volume of filtrate so in that way it will be defined 
So, uh, we can say uh, that C uh, can be estimated by this equation here uh, C will be equal to Cf divided by 1 minus Mf by Mc minus 1 into Cs by rho where Mf is basically the mass of wet cake and uh, Mc is the mass of dry cake and Cf is the concentration of solids in the slurry in kg per meter cube of liquid fed to the filter and Cs is the concentration of slurry. Uh, that is basically a CF that means mass uh, uh, means uh, you know concentration of uh, feed solution and uh, also rho is the density of the liquid. So, from this you can easily calculate what will be the total mass of the cake. So, what we have observed here that uh, that what will be the total pressure for the total pressure you have to know what will be the cake pressure or pressure drop uh, by cake deposition then pressure drop by you know filter media. So, summation of those can be represented by this equation number you know 15 uh, where uh, it will be in terms of you know fill, uh, specific cake resistance and the filter medium resistance ok. So, from this equation equation number 15 we can you know further calculate here. Now, the substituting the value of u from equation number 7 and mc from equation number 16 here equation number 16 mc is equal to vc and uh, uh, you know the velocity that is from equation number 5 here ok. Uh, if we substitute that you know uh, this is equation number 5 instead of 7 ok. Then we can say that dt by dv that will be equal to mu divided by a into delta p into alpha c v by a plus r m. So, in equation number you know 15 we can substitute ok from equation number from equation number 15 here it will be from equation number 15 then you can have this equation number 17 here. So, it will be here T by V after integration we can uh, have this uh, you know T by V will be equal to mu C alpha by 2 A square delta P into B plus mu R M by A into delta P. I think you understand it uh, after integration what will be the equation will be stands and then here uh, we can represent this we can represent this T by V that is A B plus B here. Here A is basically this one uh, represented uh, as A here this will be A and this one will be as you know B. So, here this is basically a you know straight line equation T by V that will be the A B plus B where A is the you can say that slope of that straight line equation and b is the intercept ok. So, here in this case you have to remember that you have to integrate this equation number 17 with the boundary condition as given in equation number 18 where at time t v will be equal to 0 and delta p will be equal to delta p m ok. So, based on that we are having this equation number uh, 18 uh, after integration and then after simplification or considering that this coefficient as uh, a and this coefficient as b. So, it will be a uh, you know straight line equation that is equation number 19 and from this straight line equation you will be able to calculate what will be the slope and intercept and this slope and intercept will be you know estimated based on the experimental data where that volume of that filtrate will be increasing with respect to time ok or changing that volume of filtrate with respect to time and uh, then how uh, then uh, you know that uh, you know change of that you know volume with respect to time from that you know data you can as uh, you know that T by V versus V and then from that uh, you can fit it as a straight line. So, from that straight line you would be able to calculate what will be the slope as A and what will be the intercept as B. Once you know that uh, slope A that uh, will basically will be equals to mu C alpha by 2 A square delta P that means here and uh, also B will be here intercept like this. So, from this slope and intercept you will be able to calculate what will be the specific cake resistance for a constant pressure and what will be the you know filter medium resistance for a constant pressure ok. So, in this way you will be able to calculate the uh, cake resistance and the filter medium resistance. Now, what is that you know determination process of that cake resistance and medium resistance that already I have discussed here. So, still uh, just you see that uh, first of all you have to do the experiment at constant pressure and get the data T by V versus V that means 
uh, you, you will be collecting that filtrate you know at a constant pressure uh, during that operation and uh, you will see that keep on increasing that you know uh, volume with respect to time you will get different data and you will uh, calculate T by V then you plot this T by V versus V here and then data will be coming like this okay as a straight line and then fit this straight line with uh, least error by you know least uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, least square method that is called you know uh, fitting best fitting method and based on that you will be able to calculate what will be the slope here and what will be the intercept here and from this values of uh, slope as a and intercept as b you will be able to calculate what will be the you know uh, specific cake resistance alpha and what will be the filter cake medium resistance uh, uh, filter medium resistance that can be calculated by these equations. Let us do an example uh, here based on this theory. So, it is said that uh, one problem uh, in a constant pressure cake filtration with an incompressible cake layer volume of the filtrate V is measured as a function of time. The plot of T by V versus V results in a straight line with an intercept of 10 to the power 4 second per meter cube. Area of the filter is 0 0.05 meter square. Viscosity of the filtrate is given 10 to the power this is minus 3 Pascal second and the overall pressure uh, drop across the filter is 200 kPa. What is the value of filter medium resistance here? What is the unit of filter medium resistance? This will come 1 by meter. So, in this case uh, we are having different data of uh, volume versus time and uh, also uh, we are having that intercept and also we are having that area of the filter and based on which you have to calculate what will be the filter medium resistance of one constant overall pressure drop across the filter of around 200 kPa. So, in this case B that is intercept it is defined by this equation here given mu Rm by A delta P. Here intercept is given 10 to the power 4 and mu is given 10 to the power minus 3 and Rm is given here or Rm is to be found out from your you know uh, problem uh, and uh, here A is given to you whereas delta P the pressure drop is given to you this is in I think kPa so you have multiply 1000 here and then uh, Rm after you know calculation from this equation you will get Rm value is equal to 10 to the power 11 1 per meter okay or meter inverse. So, I think this problem you can understand how to calculate the you know filter medium resistance once you know that you know intercept and slope. And then another problem here it is said that an aqueous suspension forms filter cakes with a specific cake resistance of 4 into 10 to the power 11 meter per kg and what filter area would be required to produce 40 liter of clear filtrate from a 20 gram per liter suspension in 10 minutes. If the operating pressure is 50 kilo Pascal, take the viscosity of the filtrate to be 0 0.001 Newton second per meter square and assume that the membrane resistance will be negligible. So, in this case the basic governing equation for that it is T by V that will be equal to mu C alpha by 2 A square delta P V plus mu Rm by A delta P. Okay. So, in this case since uh, it is said that the membrane resistance to be negligible, so this part will be 0, this part will be 0. So, remaining part is T by V that will be equal to mu C alpha by 2 A square delta P into V. So, from this A will be equal to like this here as shown in the picture what is the A value. So, after substitution of all variables given in the problem here mu is given, c is also given, alpha is also given and then uh, t time also given, delta p pressure also given. So, after substitution of all values uh, and uh, also v value also it is given volume of that you know filtered collected. So, after calculation it will be coming as 0 0.46 meter square. Okay. So, this, uh, this area will be required to filtrate that 40 liter of clear uh, filtrate 
power from 20 gram per liter suspension in 10 minutes under operating pressure of 50 kilo Pascal. Then uh, another important point here that you have to remember. So, all whatever we have discussed uh, to find out that filter medium resistance and cake resistance. Also, uh, you know what is the uh, you can say that uh, operational mode whether it will be constant rate filtration or constant pressure filtration. So, till now we have uh, discussed that it will be constant pressure filtration. Now, suppose if you offer it that you know filtration process in such way that there will be a you know that constant flow rate whereas pressure will be you know increasing. So, in that case you will see that specific cake resistance will be you know changing with respect to pressure. So, if that pressure will increasing with respect to time then cake resistance specific cake resistance also will be you know changing with respect to pressure. Now, how it will be changed that we do not know. So, in that case one correlation can be developed to find out or to predict that specific cake resistance with respect to pressure. So, here that relationship of specific cake resistance with the change of pressure can be expressed by this equation number 21 here. So, alpha is equal to alpha 0 delta p whole to the power s. Okay. Here alpha 0 is basically an empirical uh, you know constant this is an empirical equation correlation you can say like y is equal to a into x to the power b like this. Here alpha is equal to alpha 0 into delta p to the power s alpha 0 is the you know empirical constants and s is also a constant but it is called as compressibility coefficient of cake here. Okay. So, we can say that we can develop an empirical correlations for the specific cake resistance in terms of you know pressure you know change with respect to time. Now, for that you need some experimental data you have to have the experimental data of specific cake resistance and also corresponding pressure drop. Then only after fitting this equation of 21 with those data you will be able to calculate what will be the alpha 0 and s. Suppose from your experimental observation you are having different values of alpha and delta p. At different delta p you are having this alpha value. Suppose here there will be a, you know that n number of data, maybe you know 10, 1500 data of delta uh, p and their corresponding you know specific cake resistance. After that what you have to do? to find out that alpha 0 and s you have to take a logarithm on both sides okay then you will get ln alpha that will be equal to what it will be equal to what ln alpha 0 plus s into ln delta p here also you can say that ln alpha can be represented as y and here it will be as uh, you know uh, it is uh, uh, regarding as you know the sum m or n you can say it will be or c you can say it will be c and plus you know s into here ln delta p as suppose x. So, y will be equal to c plus s x. Okay. So, c is the constant this is intercept and s is the you know slope of this line. What is that you know line that you have to you know plot you have to plot like this what will be the ln delta p in x axis and y axis it will be what ln alpha then you will get as a straight line here like this. So, again from this straight line what will be the slope that will give you the you know s value that means compressibility coefficient of cake and slope you will get. Uh, it will be giving you as a c that means here ln alpha 0. So, this ln alpha 0 you can calculate after taking that anti log of c that means from slope uh, from uh, intercept. So, from uh, this way okay, in this way you can calculate from the experimental data of delta p and alpha 
what will be the value of alpha 0 and s. Okay. Next coming to the another uh, important operation that is called continuous filtration or rotary drum filtration. Okay. So, uh, we have discussed that you know plate and frame filter press by which you can you know separate that particulate materials from the slurry. Another uh, you know equipment it is called that you know uh, continuous filtration it is actually rotary drum filtration. What is that rotary drum filtration? You will see that here filter cloth is on the surface of a rotating drum. So, a filter cloth will be attached to a drum which will be rotating. A certain filtration may be one third of the drum, it will be submerged, it will be submerged, one third of that you know drum, it will be submerged okay, in the you know slurry okay, at any given time. Then you have to produce a vacuum so that the liquid will be sucked from that slurry through that you know media of filter or you can say that membrane or filter cloth which is attached to the drum surface. Then continuous cake removal with the knife or scraper which is attached here to you know segregate or separate that particles which is deposited on the surface of the you know filter cloth which is attached on the surface of the drum. And this is happened only after that if vacuum is created and because of that vacuum the liquid will be flowing through that filter medium okay, instead of you know passing that you know solid materials through the filter medium. So, this is the basic mechanism of that rotary drum filter. Here it is basically you know rotating some parts or one third of that you know or some fraction you can say one third of the drum it will be submerged in the slurry that whenever that submerging you know uh, portion of the drum that is filter cloth will be come in touch with that you know uh, slurry and parallelly vacuum whenever it will be sucked that liquid from that slurry only solid particles will be retaining on the surface of the cloth. So, this is the mechanism. So, this is also one type of uh, you know uh, separation mechanism of particulate material you know this is actually this operation is done continuously here. So, this also you have to you know assess by that you know governing equation of filter medium. Okay. So, what is that rotary drum filter operate at constant pressure here also it will be operate at a constant vacuum pressure and therefore, that equation 18 earlier that whatever given can be used and the sum modification here it will be done. So, let us consider a single rotation of the drum and denote the time of one revolution to be here T r. First of all here what is the equation number 18? This is the equation number 18 here. So, this equation to be used again to assess this you know filtration by this rotary drum. So, in this case since the drum is rotating at a certain you know flow rate. So, let us consider a single rotation of the drum and denote the time for one revolution to be T r and let the fraction of the drum surface that is in contact with the suspension be denoted as F s. F s is the fraction that is known which is submerged that is generally one third. Let it be in general it will be F s. This means that in any one revolution the actual filtration time will be what is that fraction of this you know what is the one revolution time is T r. So, since only fraction F s is coming in contact with that you know solution then the uh, uh, one revolution the actual filtration will be is equal to F s into T r. Therefore, the filtration volume produced in one revolution will be given by you know this here given by like this. In this case we are just considering here T by V will be because this is equation number 18 after that we are just simply just rearranging it as like this equation number here and then substituting T time of filtration you know that actual filtration time that will be equal to T that will be Fs into Tr that we told here. So, after substitution of this T it is coming equation number 22 like this okay. mu C alpha by 2 A square delta P V square plus mu 
R m by A delta P V that will be F s into T R. Here also here that cake will be deposited or particles will be deposited as a layer which is called cake. There will be specific cake resistance also the filter medium resistance will be there. After that you have to define suppose if drum speed in revolutions per second to be n that means 1 by T r and the filtrate flow rate to be Q f that means V by T r. So, in that case you can write then T will be equal to F s into T r that will be equal to F s by n because T r is equal to 1 by n. Hence, we can have uh, after substitution of this T value as and also you know rearranging it we can express this equation after substitution of T value there and then again rearranging we can have this final equation of 24 here. So, mu c alpha by 2 a square delta p to q f q f square plus mu r m c by a into delta p into q f into n ok, where here it is simply v will be equal to q f into t r, v will be is equal to q f into t r. So, this you know value is substitute here instead of v. So, after that we are having this equation number 24. So, in this case R m c the resistance of the membrane plus the resistance of the residual cake that left after the cake cutting step. So, here R m c to be considered here ok instead of R m, R m only that is you know, uh, you know that uh, plate and frame filter fresh. Then if R m c is small relative to the resistance of the cake that is formed during that uh, sub, uh, you know that uh, some portion of that you know uh, drum will be submerged there and for solid cake production rate then it will be reduced to like this ok. The equation 24 it will be reduced to equation number 25 where R m c to be considered as very small compared to the resistance of the cake formed. So, from this equation number 25 we can have that increasing the drum speed that is n that will increase the filtrate flow rate. That means here if you are increasing the speed of the drum you can separate more slurry ok there that means here if more you know uh, uh, filtrate output will be there with respect to you know increase, increase of uh, you know uh, drum speed. Another important point that we told that some you know fraction of that surface area of that uh, drum will be submerged. So, uh, in that case if suppose uh, submerged area is A s and if A only is the total filter area then we can say that F s will be equal to A s by A and then the mass flow rate of solid cake production after substitution of this F s value, F s value here in equation number 25 we can get m dot c that is mass flow rate of solid cake production that will be c into q f c is equal to c already given uh, in equation number earlier that here how to calculate the C f I think in equation number here in this case 16 a let it be 16 a equation number 16 a it is given C how to calculate and after substitution of C and also Q f then you can get this value C into V by T r or it will be equal to 2 C a square delta P f s n by mu alpha whole to the power 0 0.5. So, as equation number 27. So, from this equation number 27 you will be able to calculate what will be the mass flow rate of solid cake production. Once you know that you know concentration of that you know slurry area of the filter total area of the filter fraction of that filter which is submerged total pressure drop and you know speed of the drum also viscosity of the uh, liquid as well as that what is the specific cake resistance. Let us uh, do an example here uh, based on this theory. 
it is said that a rotary drum filter operating at 2 rpm which filters 1000 liters per minute operating under the same vacuum pressure and neglecting the resistance of the filter cloth at what speed must be rotary filter be operated to give a filtration rate of 2000 liters per minute. So, interesting here that initially this rotary drum filter operate at 2 rpm whereas filters flow rate is there 1000 liter per minute. Now, you have to change the speed of that you know rotary drum. So, what will be that rotational speed of that you know rotary drum to get that double you know filtration rate that is 2000 liter per minute. So, uh, how can it be solved here? We know that Qf will be equal to 2a square delta p f s n by mu c alpha whole to the power half as given in equation number you know as given in equation number I think 25 yes. So, from this equation number 25 we can then write here Qf will be equal to k into n to the power half where k is a constant which is defined from this equation of itself that k will be equal to a square delta p f s by mu c alpha that means other than this n to the power half whatever remaining portion of this equation number 25 that is actually denoted by k. Now, at the first you know condition it is said that the flow rate is 1000 liter per minute and rotational speed is what is that it is 2 rpm or we can write here that equation as 1 as 1000 will be equal to k n to the power half and the second you know uh, case uh, the flow rate will be 2000 then it can be written as k into n dash to the power half where k will remain same for both the cases because this surface area pressure drop even you know that fractional submerged area viscosity of the fluid concentration and filter cake resistance uh, uh, it will be you know constant it will not change. So, in that case we can write these two equation as per two uh, you know uh, case as given in the problem. Now, dividing this equation number 2 by equation number 1 then you can have n dash to equal to 8 rpm. So, that means to get the double you know filtration rate you have to you know uh, increase the flow rate of this you know uh, rotational drum by 8 rpm whereas it was earlier only 2 rpm. So, to get the double filtration rate you have to increase 4 times of that you know rotational speed of that drum. So, I think you understood this problem here ok. So, what we have discussed in this lecture that uh, what is the you know uh, plate and frame uh, filter fresh, how does it work and uh, what is the governing equation and what are the uh, basic components of that you know governing equation and also plate and frame filter fresh after you know separation of that you know uh, uh, particles and during that you know operation you will have some cake deposition and also some resistance because of this cake and as well as you know filter media and these two resistance will give you the total pressure drop and then plate and frame filter fresh will be operated you know in the two modes one will be constant rate another will be constant pressure drop. How to calculate that uh, you know specific cake resistance what is that specific cake resistance how to calculate that specific cake resistance how to calculate that filter medium uh, resistance and uh, uh, based on that experimental data how to you know uh, assess that you know filter uh, medium resistance and cake resistance and how to estimate that you can I think understand. And also uh, if you change the pressure drop how that uh, specific cake resistance will be changing with respect to pressure drop and how that you know relation of that specific cake resistance with that you know change of pressure drop and that relation can be you know 
uh, assessed by making a correlation from the experimental data and then uh, once you know that experimental data of that specific cake resistance and filter uh, medium or that total pressure drop then uh, from that you know plot of that uh, cake resistance and pressure drop you will be able to calculate what will be the that uh, uh, slope and intercept from which you will be able to calculate what will be the uh, you know empirical constants and also what is the compressibility factor of that cake. Also uh, I think you have understood that how to calculate the specific cake resistance from the you know field rate which is collected with respect to time and from that equation number 18 that we have discussed that uh, V with respect to time how it is changing during that experiment and if you collect the data and if you plot that V by T versus V then you will be able to uh, uh, you know get that you know straight line uh, you know uh, uh, formation there based on that straight line equation you will be able to calculate what will be the slope and resist uh, uh, intercept from which you will be able to calculate. Uh, what would be the filter medium resistance and the uh, specific cake resistance respectively. Also this you know constant rate filtration can be done in a uh, rotational drum system uh, where in the surface of that rotational drum uh, it is attached some filter cloth and with respect to time whenever that filter will be you know rotating uh, with respect to certain speed at a constant uh, you know pressure it will be vacuum pressure maybe. Uh, okay. So, in that case uh, uh, how that you know uh, specific cake resistance and the filter medium resistance can be calculated uh, based on that you know uh, rotational speed that also can be done and also I think you understood here. If you have any other doubt in this lecture you can contact with me uh, by this email. Uh, in the next lecture we will try to uh, discuss more about that you know particulate material uh, separation by other mechanism it is called reverse osmosis. Here also the, some ion or some other salt solution or you can say that uh, uh, different uh, you know uh, very fine particles how to uh, you know uh, separated uh, especially for dissolved salt uh, how to separate by this you know uh, membrane process that will be discussed. So, thank you. Uh, for your kind attention and uh, have a nice day.